Hello friends, in this video we will go through 2AR to 1AR utility designed for BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management. Purpose of this utility is to bring Cloud Lifecycle Management setups operating in 2AR mode to single AR mode and eliminate need of other AR. Before going into details of utility, let's first understand 2AR architecture. Two ARs involved in such CLM setup are Enterprise AR and Cloud AR. On Enterprise AR, we install public extension which enhances CMDB classes to make Cloud CIs available for Enterprise use cases. Whereas on Cloud AR, we install private extension which updates CMDB classes to suit the requirement for CLM use cases. Data transfer between these two ARs is done through DSO feature of AR. To brief about data flow, enterprise data gets created into temporary data set. It gets reconciled into asset data set. As data gets into asset data set, DSO moves this data to cloud AR into temporary data set. This data is made available into asset data set via reconciliation job. Similarly, data created by CLM gets transferred from asset dataset of cloud AR to temporary dataset on enterprise AR and then gets merged into asset dataset by a job. Then post 3.1 release, BMC CLM evolved with single AR architecture where there is no need to have separate AR to create enterprise data. Benefits were significant with single AR design. To list few, simplified maintenance of CLM with only one AR to manage, get rid of DSA issues, reduce CLM footprint, etc. BMC came up with command line utility called 2AR to 1AR utility for BMC CLM customers who want to merge their existing 2AR CLM setup into single AR setup. In this utility, we install private extension on enterprise AR, clean transient data from temporary data set on both AR, temporarily move data from asset data set on enterprise AR to copy AR data set created by utility, move all CMDB data on cloud AR from asset data set to enterprise AR asset data set. Once this is done, utility merges back data from copy AR dataset to asset dataset on enterprise AR. With few other minor updates on utility, setup becomes ready to use in single AR mode. Apart from the steps we discussed, there are other supporting tasks as well which gets executed during 2 AR to 1 AR merge process. Here is the complete list of tasks along with their task number. Let's understand some important prerequisites which need to be made before starting utility. This utility needs to be run from Windows system. It can be located where platform manager of CLM is installed or can be extracted from installer as well. So copy this utility to Windows system with sufficient resources. Before running utility, stop platform manager. Check configuration settings on both ARs are optimized. Check CLM version is higher than 3.1 in shared application properties. Make sure all the CLM applications and extensions are matching expected version. On cloud AR, make sure shared application properties are in sync with that of enterprise AR entries. Also check migration task entry value to make sure migration was successful. Migrator license should be applied on CLM AR before start of utility. Make sure reconciliation jobs involved in CLM use cases with two AR setup are stopped and made non-continuous on both ARs, enterprise AR as well as cloud AR. Make sure NSH is installed on Windows system from where we are running this utility and agent info for enterprise AR, cloud AR and platform manager systems are successful. Set log level for the utility as appropriate. 
For running the utility, we need to provide few inputs to the utility like AR server name or IP address, port, AR admin username and its password. We need to provide this information for both AR, enterprise AR and cloud AR. Then we provide platform manager server name or IP address and installation directory of platform manager. That's it. Merging activity of two AR to one AR starts with different under underlying tasks as discussed earlier. During this activity, few tasks run in parallel to optimize performance. As it starts transferring data from cloud AR to enterprise AR using Delta Data Migration or DDM feature, note that n number of command prompt windows appear showing transfer status for different classes. Do not disturb any of these windows as it may impact data being transferred to enterprise AR. At the end, utility summarizes result of each key task performed with time required for that task. Status of the utility is also reflected in shared application properties on enterprise AR. Task ID is listed after 1 equal to shows successful task. Notation 2 is used to signify failed task whereas 0 is used to denote task which are in progress. Once this utility is successful, we can shut down cloud AR service and we are good to start using cloud lifecycle management in single AR mode. This was brief about 2 AR to 1 AR utility. For more details, please refer to online documentation on BMC official website.